Presumably work off of turn four. Again, as they come down to the line, 18 laps to go. The green flag is waving again. Burton gets a pretty good restart. Denny Hamlin peeks to the inside, now pushes him to turn number one. Somebody needs to get an advantage and get out there if they're to keep Gordon and Johnson behind them. It's three wide in turn two in the middle of Taylor Hurt Jr. He goes to the inside of Tony Stewart. Jeff Burton with the advantage. Jeff Burton gets the lead. Dale Earnhardt Jr. still three wide. Denny Hamlin down low. Tony Stewart up high. Kyle Busch comes into the mix. Hamlin goes to second. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is third. He's racing with Kyle Busch. As they race back to the stripe, the leader is Jeff Burton. Right behind him, it's Denny Hamlin. Dale Earnhardt Jr. as he's along the with Kyle track. Busch. Jeff Gordon is slammed into the wall. Tony Stewart is in that wreck. So is A.J. Allmendinger, Jamie McMurray, Jimmy Johnson, and Jeff Gordon in heavy traffic along the front straightaway. And they get together and set off a multi-car melee with 17 laps to go. Paul Menard also involved in that crash, and it's a wild one here at Texas Motor Speedway. No less than eight cars down to the inside of turn one. Joey Logano also heavy, heavy damage on the 20 Home Depot machine, and it's a game changer here at Texas with 17 laps to go.